The next tab in the sell a vehicle activity is the insurance lien tab. Here you can enter insurance policy information, check whether insurance is required, and if you use an outside vendor to track insurance, if for some reason you need to stop insurance tracking on this contract, you can check the box here and it will remove this contract from the list you send to that outside insurance tracking agency. So to enter insurance information, you can either type the policy information and insurance agency information, or you can use the look up button and select an insurance agency from your created list in system utilities, look up maintenance, you're able to create a list of all the insurance agencies in the area that your customers typically use. Then you can select one and it will populate the insurance screen. You can enter insurance information on the fly, but if you do, just be aware that if you enter the same information, it's going to create a duplicate entry in your lookup table. So if I already have 21st Century Centennial Insurance Company in my pre-existing list and then I add it on the fly rather than selecting it, then it's going to create a duplicate entry in my lookup table. So if you can use the lookup table, if you see something that's not there, then go ahead and type it manually. Once you have that, put the policy number and then select the coverage types. Forgive my numbers, I'm not in insurance. I have no idea what deductibles are supposed to be, but let's just say that looks good. Enter the effective date, which should probably be the day you're selling the vehicle, and the expiration date would probably be one year or six months from then. If the insurance is ever canceled, you can come in and put a cancellation date in here. And this way, when you run reports for insurance, if you require it and you check that box, then as this contract or the insurance on this contract gets closer to expiring, it will be included in a list and you can track that have someone contact the customer and let them know that their insurance is expiring or has expired. That can be used as well in collections, so if you can create an expired insurance queue and have collectors work that queue and call and get the updated information. You also have a lien holder tab here, and it's going to default to your company as the lien holder. If you use outside finance companies or outside lenders, you can add those lenders in a lookup table in System Utilities Lookup Maintenance. And then if you need to, you can select one of those outs, uh, outside finance companies as the lien holder. And it will populate the information there. Once you have this information gathered and everything is correct, then you can continue to move through the tabs and complete the sale, or if you need to, you can click Save as Pending and come back and complete the sale at a later time.